Today in Zapekist, we're back with the most technical track I've ever built. This track is called Cubes, and it's made entirely of cubes. But although it looks simple, it's actually one of the more complicated tracks I've ever built. It's got a really cool line to it, and it requires a lot of focus and really just a lot of skill. I'm expecting to see some really cool pro times on it, and I'm hoping that they'll enjoy this kind of track because, you know, it really just requires precise steering inputs and uh, not so not so much a full speed or boosters or anything like that. In fact, there's only one tiny booster at the very beginning just to get you going so you're not wasting your time sitting there doing nothing. But the rest of it is just a ton of cubes that are all placed really difficultly off the grid. It's uh, They all look like they're lined up, but they're really not. It's kind of cool, and I just really like the way it feels to drive this track. But anyway, it's about a one-minute track. It's pretty simple and, uh, you know, like I said, most technical track I've ever built. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you like more technical tracks. I prefer more of the high-speed tracks, and uh, I haven't built one in a while, and I probably should, but that's a 103. It's really slow. I feel like we might see some one-minute times and uh, maybe even push it into the 59s, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and let's jump right into a public lobby. Many things are shapes. Cubes yes. are definitely one of them. Cubes Congratulations. Are, cubes are, in fact, a shape. It's called cubes. Or Cube. cubes. Cube, cube world. Cube, cube, cube. Cubes. Oh jeez, man! You're gonna. Oh, the pros dude, are wonder. gonna be so fast at this once they figure out the line. I can already tell, and it bothers me. So I'm just gonna set a time now, so I at least have some time on the front of the podium, you know. And then once you guys Oof. all learn it, then I'm just gonna cry a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I cry every Tim. Every Tim. Oh no! I died. <laughs> <laughs> it's already. They already say this is pain. They don't even know what the track is. It's great. Love it. <laughs> Oh, someone's named Colossal Cubes in the chat. There you go. Ooh. Is it for me? <laughs> you made this for me? <laughs> this is actually one of the, I think, the coolest aesthetic tracks I've ever built. Ah! Despite, despite it only being cubes. I definitely like it. It's very hard to see where I'm going, uh, but I'll get there. <laughs> nah, you guys will figure it out. You guys are pros. You're, I know I built it long enough because I wanted it to be like a minute long run, but I know the pros are going to just make it look like it's a joke once they figure out the line, and that's why I'm scared. You're lucky <laughs> Mackie's not here, really. I should have set it to like a five minute time, and then I would have been... You would have been fine. Yeah, I would have been fine. No one would have figured it out in time. Fine. There we go. <sighs> No, oh, look, Seabad already set a time before me. Look at that, see? <laughs> God dang it. Man. <laughs> Two Face is doing that thing, though, Dapper, where he resets at every checkpoint until he optimizes the living crap <laughs> oh, out of it. Oh, come on. You know? And then, and then once he does that, then he's going to come down and set like a sub one minute, you know? It's 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 fine. We'll see we'll see how far I get. I wouldn't necessarily uh, guess that I'm uh, that good at the game, but I feel like you're one okay. of those people though that you just you you go split to split before you try I... and put down a whole run. Basically, right? Like I mean, that's kind of the the strat always for me. Yeah. yeah. I like to just try and put down runs, like a full run, as many times as I can, just to you know get the lay of all the tracks. Yeah, same. Because I find I'll like be good at the first section and then I'll screw up the second section. So it's like I just need to practice everything, you know? Yeah. I'm sure there's some pro racers out there telling us that we're we're wrong about. We're wrong, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not the way to go. It's just with the the way this game works, it's like if you're if you're like obviously going slow and wasting time, and you know that you can do it better the next time you come to it anyway. That's true. I don't know. That's 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 the only reason I do it really. It's like, well, if I'm if I know time. I'm taking this bad, yeah, just to save more time to be more efficient. Someone's complaining about the ending being yucky. Oh man, I almost got down there. The ending is like some sloped cubes. Sloped cubes, yuck. Yeah, I don't think they like the the sloped cubes. It's like you're like Stop bouncing my through yum. sloped cubes. The stair effect is really interesting. Like having grip, no grip, grip, no yeah, grip. Yeah, like they little, they're slightly off from each other. They're literally less than like 0.2, you know, like the minimum grid placement. They're even smaller, like differences than that. Wow. 
but it's enough to give you this like weird like kind of grip no grip bounciness there's the the um cobble path in this game is like that like kind yeah of naturally this was actually a really hard track to make because um i kept having to like try it and place space most of the things on this track placed off grid um even the beginning the stuff that looks like it's on grid it's not it's like snapped together and then moved off grid because uh you know everything's on like weird slopes and stuff there's there's only the one small booster at the very beginning just to get you going and then after that everything's just gravity right so it's like it's really a traditional zapekiss track per se but then trying to place all That's... the cubes and have it flow was just a lot of off-grid very small adjustments and then trying it and then adjusting it always fun <laughs> no yeah, boost or best. minimal boost is still the way to do it in my opinion what boost throughout the track or it's, uh, no boosts or minimal boosts throughout the track is the way to do it like yeah it makes the skill level more apparent i find it, it less boosters less boosters means points, you have to be faster the whole time it yeah. points out that the that the author of the track took time to making it flow correctly right and typically they are not always better tracks but like their 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 odds of being played like in lobbies and stuff are definitely higher when there's like not a bunch of boosters. It's because you pros want to be fast the whole way down. You don't want no boosters well, there actually messing is up your metas. A booster RNG in this game, believe it or not. Even, yeah, there is, and it, it, more so on high powered boost. boosters than low powered ones. But yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah if you have like a booster with like power level ten and like set to two hundred, let's say the number of frames it's acting on your body is not always consistent, so... But basically what you're saying is the hardcore Zapekisters are traditionalists. They don't they don't want engines, they don't want boosters, they just want to use yeah. gravity. Or if you way. have boosters and it's like, like that one at the beginning is like a 151, so it's it's very minimal. It'll be, it'll be so consistent to players, like it's going to be hard to feel the difference if it is one. I'm, I'm not going to say like... Mm. So, like, I guess the best way to, like, tell you about, like, how it affects us is, like, if there's a map, there's a high force booster at the beginning of the track. If you have a lobby full of competitive players, like, let's, <laughs> let's, let's say, for example, there's a booster at the beginning map set at 150 at, like, 10 or whatever force. You can sit there and reset over and over until you get a 153 because that high force booster will send you, with like, 153, 154. And that really, like, de like determines your finish time sometimes. Oh, that's why you see a bunch of people reset at the beginning. Yeah, sometimes. yeah. You'll you'll literally see people re like spam reset tracks like that. Wow, did not know that. Very. See, I don't know. I don't know how much this one will affect you because it's a one fifty, but you're also on a ten degree downslope already. Yeah, as long as like I try to use the rule that I don't use boosters that use above like three force. Yeah, this Unless... one's a one force. It's just because I felt they were too... Like, I didn't like the beginning. I had the beginning longer originally, like a longer hill, but it took so long to get accelerating. I'm like, I don't want people yeah. waiting for like five seconds at the beginning of every run, you know? It's just... The consensus is that fans are more predictable. Really? I would have thought fans are worse. Yeah, me too. One of my buddies, though. I just did a video with them, uh, Lighter. He he has been he's sworn off boosters as of late. He like literally doesn't even use them in his tracks anymore. They've done the wow. calculations and I was I was <laughs> yeah. I'd like to point out I was second a while ago when we first started talking about boosters and now I am uh sixth with a one oh yeah, just... no one's broken the one minute mark, which is crazy to me. Everyone's getting closer and closer to a fifty nine, but no one's been able to break it. I feel like it's doable I, it's totally doable like there's no way it's not right i just find it crazy that people are uh i made it all the way to the end but those slants messed me up yeah what do, you, gotta... do you take the inside at the end or the outside i take like the a little bit outside to inside and then that way you can get mm. the right line like outside and then you cut across the inside of the first like major slant and then kind of let it bounce you to the next one. My favorite part of this track though is the sloping white and black cubes that jump through the checkpoint. Where you like have to bounce your suspension to make those jumps. That's Oh yeah yeah yeah. That's my the one where they're like opposite 
angles. You gotta yeah. bounce off one and the other. They're fun. They're not easy, but they're fun. All right. Oh no! I kicked off a stupid. Oh my god! I kicked off a thing, man. I was oh, I was on one of the one of the like final sections, and I like kicked off the seam between two cubes. You know? Oh this. dang! Yep. It I wasn't like a unity bounce, really. It was just like a, a bad luck. Man. Oh. It's, uh, someone's. I, I'm surprised no uh, one's broken the one minute yet. I thought for sure when I said validations, man. it was like a 102 or something. But I'm like, this is gonna be a, a sub one minute track at some point. I was at 58 seconds on that final turn. I have no idea what I would have done. But my tail slid out. That sucks. <laughs> I feel like this Darn. is possible, man. A one minute is possible in this track. Easy. Like you said, I think it just takes practice on this. Like. It's one of those tracks you just gotta sit here and like marinate in for a while. Yeah. It's let just, it let it soak in. It's just a nice technical track though. It's my one of my like I don't really build technical tracks very often. More I'm usually more into like having full speed kind of stuff, but I figured uh the technical track would be fun. This is my last run. I literally started with like a fifty nine seconds, so I have to get like a world record time here in order to Do it. Do it. You I got believe this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? You even finish this? You already gonna, point three down were... at the first checkpoint. That's a good sign. Yep. <laughs> we all know the first checkpoint doesn't mean anything, though. The second checkpoint is really where it, where it starts to kick in. Where you get the speed. The speed. Okay, point six the down. The speed. Point six down. Okay, so we're doing much better, obviously. Oh, yeah. Tons better. Probably not even going to make it to the finish in time. Okay, though, we all know the third checkpoint is really what turns oh, the men into boys gg boys into men i got stuck on that last white cube there oh point seven I... down boys yeah. it's not getting better it's getting oh, worse no. Oh, oh no, no. Con. i don't think i'm making it no gg ah oh, dang it man gg dang yeah well thanks for one. playing my track i was surprised no one broke no one broke the one minute i'm sure someone will have to so I'm going to have to actually do it at some point in time. But yeah, let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you check out the other guys' tracks. I'll put the links in the description. And uh, like, subscribe, and we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.